first the rules. The center is the most important. Uh, you do not need to spread this on your own. The heatsink will do that for you. And also you want to keep this away from the PCB and the other components because the nice stuff like the, you know, the Arctic Silver and the Tunia, that stuff is conductive and it can short things out. So make sure it stays on the CPU and only on the CPU. Now I'll admit the first time I did this, I had no idea what I was doing and I used the business card method. This is a terrible method. You do not need to spread this stuff. It's not freaking spackle. I mean, look at this. I'm like spackling a CPU here. Uh, so I did this and it, you know, it gets all gunked up and everything was overheating and I couldn't figure out why. Well, sure enough, after changing out the uh, thermal paste, everything was just fine. Let me show you what happens when I uh, press this plastic down. You'll see there's gonna be some air bubbles in there, uh, not even coverage, and also it's gonna like spill off the sides. It's just all gunked up. You never, ever, ever wanna spread it around like that. You know, I've also seen some other people uh, spread it around with plastic. They've been put plastic over your fingers and just like smear it all over the place. I have, I have no idea why anybody would wanna do this. Let me show you what happens when you put the plastic down on that. So you're going to press your heatsink into this, and it's just going to be like air bubbles everywhere. It's going to be gunked up. Uh, if you're using the nice Arctic Silver stuff, it may short out things. Here's the line method. You draw a line right down the center, and again, the CPUs are right there in the center, and you press it down, and it spreads out, covering the CPUs. This one sometimes can go off the sides, and uh, a lot of times it doesn't get enough in the middle, so I'm not too happy with this one. Some people have good luck with it. Here's the X. I put a little bit too much, so I'm sorry about that. But the X, you know, fills in as you, as you press it down. Covers everything. It's almost too much coverage for me because when it gets hot, it's going to cover even more. So I don't like that one. This is the method I use. It's the P method. It's just a simple little P in the middle, and then you press it down. And watch how it evenly distributes over the cores in the center. Very nice. This is the metal method. The metal method runs about 50 degrees hotter, but it's totally worth it because it's so badass. Do you see that thing? It was freaking wicked. It's gone now. Someone someone smashed it. That sucks. All right, again, here's the uh, preferred method, the P. It's a little P in the middle. Be careful because this stuff can be stringy. Press down. It's going to cover your cores. Everything's happy. When it heats up, it'll cover even more. And if you guys want to clean off, maybe from like an old build or something, you want to clean your CPU, microfiber cloth, isopropyl alcohol, 99%, a little dab, and then go ahead and uh, clean off the excess thermal paste. Do not use a paper towel like this. This is just complete stupidity because you're going to get, you know, fibers are going to break off and it's just going to be a mess. So don't do this and, and never wipe down. That's just, uh, I don't even know what I was doing. That's terrible. And one more thing. Uh, you guys might enjoy this. When I pulled the uh, plastic off, it made a happy little tree there. How about that? It's kind of strange. I think the universe is trying to tell me to go climb some trees. I may have to go outside now. When you guys are building, make sure you use high quality stuff like Tunia, Arctic Silver, Thermal Tape makes some, Cooler Master makes some. Just use high quality thermal paste and remember it's conductive so it can short things out. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me inbox at techsyndicate.com. Also, if you're a gamer or a system builder and this is the first video that you've seen of us or you've only seen a few, get over to techsyndicate.com, hang out with us. And if you're a console gamer building your first system, welcome to our wonderful little world. We'll be glad to help you out. We won't call you names. So head over to techsyndicate.com. I will see you there.